For me, guys, the best MMA athlete in the history of MMA. Thanks so much for being here, Habib. Habib was watching your instruction and was really, really impressed with how, like, you have a whole new concept about being on top. I have never seen that before. Like, everybody's trying to pass guard and get them on using the arms. You don't use the arms, you only use the legs. So, uh, how did you develop that? And the, I think everybody's wrong. Like, uh, like, all with my all opponents, they make everybody make mistake when they preparing on me they take some good grapplers but all these good grapplers and BJJ guys they use only arms but with me when they come to fight with me and when cage close they realize I don't use arms I use my hips, I, use, I use my legs but that time it was like uh, you know it's like uh, interesting when you go to the cage when they, they accept other things from you and you use your things you know yep. but the, like even when people watch my fight they don't understand what i use they they like a lot of like my opponents i hear they say when he on top of me i feel like he's like heavyweight you know yep. but they don't understand but i'm same way yeah but I you're using the hip all my leg. body you know yeah. hips, legs arm my body top control pressure my weight everything i put on them you know and if you want i can show yep. you like something like for example, like when I take down someone, like yep. like people, they just try to hold with your arms, you know, yep. like uh, but but legs they free, yep. they don't do with full legs. But I like use my legs, but I like use my 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 arms for ground and pound. Like for example, I if I put here, if I come mount, I don't use my arm to just hold him. Yep. You know, I use my legs. I hold him with my legs and I use my punch because if my opponent wanna escape, he has to push my legs. Look, stop. When he push my legs, look, his face is free. His face is I can punch his face. And one punch makes big difference in fight, you know? If you land one good punch on his face, sometimes fight finish, you know. How are you gonna put him on this position? With your leg. Just hold him with your leg and punch him face. He have to protect himself, you know. Okay, if I come on top, he gonna do something. Do something. Okay, he gonna do something. Okay, if I if I can take his wrist, I can make him fight, or I can punch him, but I can do whatever I want with my arms. Okay. Okay, I use my legs. I move, use my hips. I stay stay heavy on top. I grab his neck. I put my other arm for the balance. Good good balance. If I wanna make him flat, I can make him flat with this one. Come a little bit high, or I can go up, down, like use my top control. Like look. That's I amazing. Can, like sometime, sometime, when I drill this, I just put someone on down. I, 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 I sit on the mount and I tell him escape. I don't do nothing with arms. I don't do nothing with arms, I make him escape. Just escape. Like make him escape, okay? Okay, if he escape, okay, we come back. This is very good for your squeeze your leg, very good uh, exercise. Because, like, guys who never use this, this is very hard to keep right. him. Even when they try, their legs become tired. Your legs have to be ready for this, for 15 or 25 minutes. You know, okay, put, if you guys wanna learn this, this position, after training, like for five, ten minutes, just put guys on uh, on the on the floor, stay on the top. Okay, like time, go. You escape. Okay, I just hold him. Okay, if he escape, 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 escape. If he escape, okay, one zero. Okay, now go, go, begin. Just don't touch with your arm. Don't touch your arm. Like go. But this is very good exercise. This is very good exercise. Okay, look, look. This is make, okay, one more time. This is make your legs tired, but in the fight, when you catch your opponent, you're gonna be ready. Even if you get up, your legs don't go tired. 
you're always gonna be ready for this, you know, for squeeze your opponent, you know. And your arm, you can punch, it. boom, boom, boom. You have to protect yourself, or you have to come close. Come close. But if you come close, then you're gonna make, you're gonna go submission. That's amazing. Like, boom. <coughs> or come close. Oh, you're gonna give him, boom, elbow, punch, protect your face. When you protect yourself, you can go to the submission, you know, or maybe even protect. You're gonna keep going punch. You're gonna, he's gonna go to escape with my leg. Oh, no oh, stop. Look, now his face is free. Punch his face, but everything about hips. You have to control your opponent with legs. Arm used for punching or submission. Oh, happy man, you are saying all the time like that. Uh, one punch can change everything. Yes. Right? Yeah, well, that's amazing. One punch because, like for MMA guys, like when you punch face, you know you can knock your uh, out your opponent or give him big trouble, you know. And that's why, like one punch can change everything. No, that's amazing. And the other thing I uh, hear you saying all the time as well, I was like, you can't grapple like this, you can't grapple like this. So you're always focused on using the legs, using yeah. the legs, using the legs, not so much the arms, right? Yeah. You know, honestly, uh, this is. Teaching like my father was very heavy on top. He always used his hips, use his technique. You know, it's like old school, like like USSR countries, like they use like judo, sambo, yep. all this stuff, like leg locks, arm, like uh, arm triangle, like all this stuff. But when I come US, I make uh, I put my top control on different level with um, here in AKA with coaches who all the time use this like. My opinion, uh, who used this like me, it was like uh, Luke Rockhold, he used yeah, very yeah, good on top control. Uh, but he don't do this too much on uh, MMA because uh, his takedowns was not yeah. very good. And Islam Mahachu. These yeah. two guys, these two guys use very good top control with his, the legs. With the hips, they doing very good job. You know, yeah, you you press yeah. their legs so well, like when they are on board, that they mm -hmm. barely can move, and then it sounds like everything builds up from there, right? Yeah. No, after that become everything. You can punch, or maybe he can give you back. You can choke him. Oh, like everything. I mean, press. I promise this is the last question. So when yes. you get here and you and you put the bone legs together, what's the main detail here? Like, like no, I stay, I stay, yeah, I stay that's, top. That's what I want to talk. I don't take like when when I take uh, over like legs, I cannot stay here. Look, I have to put pressure here. Look, I I have to put pressure. Look, look. Now you feel pressure. Yeah. What you have to do? You have to escape it. Yeah. When you go here, look, stop. Look, same thing. Yeah, your face, your face, your face. Because I stay like that. Because you you have to escape your legs. Escape. Look, look, look. I punch your face, I punch your face. Or maybe I put pressure on you, or maybe from here I come to mount. Because like for grappling guys, BJJ guys, after submission or after choke, much better place is like mount or take it back. You know, you can come here. Man, that's impressive. Take back, you know? Stay here. No, that's okay. I can feel the pressure here. I wish I were going to do that. Yeah, no, that was, that was incredible. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> no, thanks so much, Javi. Thank We're so honored to work with you. Дагестан, плоты такой, и сердце Кавказа Дагестан, как много силы дают имя твое Дагестан, дороже золота и всех алмазов Дагестан, я здесь родился, я здесь умру Время меняет многое, вершин твоих не трогает Длиной в года меня уводит по жизни дорога Перекасами 